A bathroom floor is in the shape of a rectangle with dimensions 6 feet and 8 feet. And there is a semicircular bathtub with a radius of 3 feet cut out of one of the 6 foot sides. Calculate the total perimeter of the bathroom floor. Okay, so let's put on these dimensions first. So first of all, we have got it 6 feet by 8 feet. And there is a semicircular bathtub with a radius of 3 feet cut out of one of the 6 feet sides, which means that this is 6 feet this is eight feet and this is the semicircular bathtub with a radius of three feet and that makes sense because if the radius is three feet three feet plus three feet would be six feet right so we want the perimeter of this floor which means the distance around the outside so we want this this and this and then we want this curve here so let's first of all do the straight lines from the rectangle so we're going to have eight plus six plus eight. Now what we need is we need this bit here, this curved bit. Well, this is half of the circumference of a full circle with a radius of three feet. Okay, so we know that the formula for circumference is circumference equals pi times diameter. So we've been given the radius here, which is three feet, which means that the diameter is twice that, so that will be six feet. So the circumference of this circle here is going to be 3.14 times 6. So first of all, let's do that to get the circumference of the full circle. And then what we can do is halve it to get the circumference of the half circle. So here we go, 3.14 multiplied by 6. And that equals 18.84 feet. Then remember, we need to divide that by 2 because we only actually want half of that. So here we go. 18.84 divide that by 2 equals 9.42. 18.84 divided by 2 equals 9.42. So we can then put this into our calculation that we've got going on. That's 9.42. And this will give us the total perimeter of this shape. So we have got our 9.42. And then we've got add 8, add 6, add 8. And here's our answer, 31.42. Now let me just rewrite this here, 31.42 feet. And it stays as feet because remember, perimeter is a length. If you need more work on the perimeter of compound shapes, make sure you check out tutorial46 at crackmaths.co.uk.